My name is Laurel Blakemore, and I am a pediatric orthopedic surgeon in Gainesville, Florida, and I am going to talk about early onset scoliosis. Early onset scoliosis is scoliosis that occurs in children who are under the age of 10. Scoliosis is a spinal curvature, which is side to side, but can also be uh, accompanied by a curvature that goes to the back, which is called kyphosis, where they have a rounder back than usual. So there's different kinds of scoliosis, and uh, anyone that gets scoliosis before the age of 10 is considered to have early onset scoliosis. It has a little bit of a different prognosis or risk of having problems when people get older than if you got a curve in your spine when you were, say, a teenager or a young adult. Uh, and that's what really makes early onset a different type of uh, problem to treat. There's a couple different causes of early onset scoliosis or types of early onset scoliosis. There can be a malformation of the bones that occurs in the baby while they're still in the uterus. It can be from neuromuscular problems like muscle weakness conditions, muscular dystrophies and things like that. Or sometimes it can be what's called syndromic, which is associated with other conditions that patients can have. One example could be uh, neurofibromatosis, which can cause a curvature in a spine in a very young child. And lastly, it could be idiopathic, which just means that we don't know exactly what causes it. In a small percentage of cases, the parents may have a gene, one or both parents, that can be transmitted to the children and cause scoliosis. That can be either associated with syndromes that are other medical conditions, or sometimes just in children which are considered to have idiopathic scoliosis, where we don't really know what causes the curve in the spine. In most cases, there is no family history. So a lot of parents want to know if there's something that they're doing or that the child's doing that could be causing the curve in the spine. We don't see any association with, for instance, carrying a heavy backpack on one side or the other, uh, or drinking milk or taking different uh, kinds of vitamins as long as children are getting a healthy diet. Um, and they exercise, we encourage all those things. And there doesn't seem to be any causative factor that patients are doing to cause these curves. 